Let's talk today about how to find your passion and fulfill God's purpose. In case we haven't met yet, my name is Chris Reese. Do you feel lost as if something is missing from your life? Do you frequently wonder if this is all there is? Well, you're not alone. Many people go through life hoping and praying that they land someplace happy, but most fall short. I was all too familiar with these feelings. I would frequently say, God, there's got to be more than this. You see, I was living a good life, but I wanted more. So I kept striving for more, more accolades, more money, more vacations, but nothing was filling that void. Oh, it would temporarily do it, but it would always come back to that nagging question. What am I here for? That was until I discovered what was truly missing from my life, purpose. I was a hard worker who made good money. I had a great family, but I lacked a bigger purpose in life. So I set out on a mission. I was on a mission to find my purpose. And on that mission, I went through three phases. The first phase was discovery. In the discovery phase, I learned all about myself. Not the self that I pretended to be or that I molded myself to be, but the real me. Here is where I want to encourage you to learn all you can about yourself. My friend, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. God took the time to craft every detail about you. It is your job to search it out. Learn your likes, your dislikes, your personality, and your talents, and put aside all of the expectations of others, including yourself, and start fresh. It's kind of like getting to know a brand new friend, except that friend is you. The second phase I went through was the development phase. The Bible gives countless examples of how we are to continue to develop ourselves. It talks about developing our mind, our talents, our talk, among many other things. In this phase, you begin to grow in the areas of discovery. The development phase is unique to each person. Some may go back to school, others may spend months in counseling to get healing for past pain. Maybe you hire a coach to help you learn a new skill, or you take the time to get to know God in a way that you've never experienced before. Whatever it is that you need to develop personally, professionally, and spiritually, do it. You are worth the investment. The third phase was the design phase. This is my favorite part, but in the past, I would make the mistake of trying to design a plan before I discovered who I was and where I was going. It's a lot like putting the cart before the horse. Well, maybe you're like me and you love to set goals. That's great, because you are going to love this phase, but you'll only succeed in the design phase after you've laid the foundation of discovery and development. Once you've discovered yourself, made the commitment to develop, now you can begin to set the plan in place to take your purpose from concept to completion. It's time to take action. All of your dreaming and praying won't amount to anything if you don't apply your faith and take action. Every Christian's desire is to hear those wonderful words, well done, my good and faithful servant. God has planted in you a dream, and it is His desire to help you bring that dream to fruition. My friend, you are unique, you are talented, and you are called out for a very special purpose. Don't stay stuck another day in mediocrity and frustration. Take the steps necessary to fulfill your God-given purpose. God needs you. The world needs you. Why live a life of pleasure without purpose? Go discover, develop, and design your life purpose. If you want more, here's what you need to do. Click down below this video and grab your free Inner Voice eBook. It's my gift to you to help you begin to discover what God wants you to do with your life. Until next time, remember, nothing is impossible with God.